project problem is authoring and usage of useful and usable OER reusable orchestration appliances. Seeing that Zambia has more than 1,000 learning institutions and over 10,000 educators and more than 400,000 scholars countrywide, this prompted us to find means to connect institutions, educators, and scholars in a way of sharing educational content on an OER. The value and importance of open education resources is to broaden the education sector, which has been evident since the first emergence at UNESCO in 2002. The forum has had an impact on an open courseware for higher education in developing countries. They have made education to be open and accessible to anyone. So we say this project is all about developing an open, shareable online repository platform and standalone application for creating OERs. Hence, this will allow lesson materials and other education resources to be uploaded, stored, shared, and edited for use and reuse by educators in Zambia. Our project objectives are to design and implement an OER repository aimed at archiving OERs authored by educators in Zambia. Two, to design and implement a scalable OER platform or repository. To design and implement an effective end user interface for creating OER resources. Then our research questions are, how will Zambian educators and students find it easy to access OER content? Two, how scalable is the OER platform or repository? The third one is, how effective is the end user interface for creating OER platform? I will therefore end here. My colleague will proceed with um, the related work. On the project related work, in 2016, there was a project that was done under the motivation of implementing a reusable virtual orchestration appliance. It was done in order to solve the problem of orchestration of educators' lessons. And as part of the HONAS project, they proposed a solution in the form of a developed open shareable online repository where lesson plans, resources, and tools can be stored and shared. In addition to the development of an online repository to share these various resources, an offline platform was investigated and chosen to convert all presentations and lesson materials to a unified format that allows educators to plan, order, and design personalized lessons in a way that is effective to personalize needs. On the project solutions, we propose a solution in which we would design and implement an open shareable online repository platform and standalone application for creating OERs where lesson plans, resources, and tools can be stored and shared in Zambia to be specific. We hope to encourage educators to use already existing content as well as create their own content and upload them to be used by other educators and scholars to increase both the efficiency and hopefully in the long term to improve the quality of education to everyone using them. I'll hand over to the next presenter. Thank you, Madam Inutu, for the presentation. My, my name is Jefferson Love and I'll be presenting on the research methods for this research. Interviews will be used as our data collection technique. Purposive sampling technique will be used and we'll interview different students and educators from different institutions in Zambia. This study will target a total number of 40 participants, which will include 20 educators and 20 students from different institutions that will be interviewed in Zambia. The data, will be collected, the data will be collected in qualitative form. It will be analyzed using a tool known as Kobo Toolbox. Next slide. These research methods will enable us to evaluate the system by using software engineering metrics, of which the project level, standalone application, and the repository outcome will be measured. User-oriented, performance-based, and requirement Based evaluation will be implemented during the development of the, of the system. Thus, using metrics like learnability, recovery form error, easy of use, and performance expectation will evaluate the system using feedback on the 
system from educators. Aim of the project being to, eva, to, to alleviate educators' workload and provide increased efficiency in the lesson planning through providing them with a single platform, platform from which lessons can be constructed and conducted in conjunction with an online system that promotes sharing and reuse of pre-existing lesson plans. The best means of evaluation is through testing the proposed software. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Matthews. So for me, I'm going to talk about project management. Project management is, a, uh, is an, in, an in, essential component of software engineering project. Software project management encompasses techniques, methodologies, and the tools necessary to deliver high quality software within budget and time. Risk management assesses the risk that may affect a project, monitor this, we will monitor these risks and take action when problems arise. Resources, some of the resources we we'll use when building our project, we we'll use computers, internet connectivity, access to internet, to access to Google applications such as Google Docs and the vast majority of open source software such as Trello for project management, VS Code for coding presentation, to mention but a few. As we can see here, there is work breakdown structure artifact diagram, which organizes project activities into manageable tasks. We have got also less matrix, which shows the various section of responsibility of each team member of our project and their implication along with the proposed monitoring and management. We have got also look work allocation. In this artifact, we have got each person has been assigned individual role to work on. We have got project timeline and gun chart, which is, is going to be used to visualize entire project duration, when it started and when we are going to finish this project. We have got also milestones and deliverables. Milestones are pointers in the, in the, in the schedule against which we can assess progress, while deliverables are work products that are delivered to the customers. We've got two laws. One is for, for deliverables, two is for milestones. Under the anticipated outcome, the identification of anticipated project outcome will allow the project to work according to its prior objectives. The outcomes include designing and implementation of a standalone application that will act as a user interface. Uh, the other one, uh, designing and implementation challenges, project impact, and project success factors. The next slides will depict the interaction between the system and uh, user and other systems. Number one, context diagram, fundamentally used to define the scope of the system. Two, use case diagram. Uh, the use case diagram captures the functional requirements of the system. Three, UML class diagram, graphical representation of classes associated with the system. Sequence diagram, a typical or a type of interaction model that models a single scenario executing in a system. We have two artifacts. The first one uh, depicts the user interface where the user is able to log in, view con uh, content, and upload. Second one, the second one shows the uh, searched content and the and the privileges of a user to upload and view content. Under the ethical considerations, ethical issues need to be anticipated and dealt with by any researcher. Therefore, this project proposal took into consideration possible and potential ethical issues. The measures undertaken to ensure compliance with ethical issues include, one, not forcing the respondents to answer the questions, two, the principle of confidentiality and respect, three, respect of rights, values, and decisions of the respondents. Lastly, in addition, during the research, the respondents' responses will neither be interfered nor contested by the researcher. Here ends our presentation. Questions are most welcome. Thank you.